Southwest Airlines out with its quarterly uh, numbers, and Phil LeBeau joins us now with more. Uh, hi, Phil. Hey, Joe. The stock is moving higher in part because Southwest posting better than expected Q3 earnings, earning $1.23 a share. That's uh, above the estimate of $1.08 per share. There you see the stock uh, reacting favorably. Revenue coming in at $5.6 billion. Capacity, however, it has been impacted because the company has not had the full complementary uh, fleet that it expected when it placed its uh, orders for the 737 MAX, and they laid out all of their capacity plans for the year. Capacity down 2.9%, and also because they are not taking all of those aircraft, their CapEx expenditures a little lower than expected, now coming in at $1.1 to $1.2 billion. What's been the impact of the MAX? It cost them operating income of $210 million in the, the third quarter. When you look at Southwest, they have more maxes than any other airline, 34 of those that were grounded starting in March. But a lot of people also forget that they were scheduled to receive another 41 throughout the rest of 2019. They now say they expect to take delivery of seven of those 41 in the fourth quarter, pending the, whether or not the FAA uh, signs off and recertifies the MAX, and then the remaining 34, those are pushed out into 2020. Remember, guys, they pushed back the date of when they expect to put the 737 MAX back in the air, back all the way to uh, early February, and that's provided that the FAA does sign off on the plane by the end of the year, and then it's going to take a couple of months, A, to get the planes ready, to get the software updated, and to get the pilots trained. You just can't flip a switch and then have your crews ready to go.